today I'm super excited to give you my spoiler free thoughts on Gremlins Secrets of the Mogwai. This animated series is a prequel to the phenomenal movies Gremlins and Gremlins 2. They're cult classics, they're incredible, they're iconic, and if you haven't seen them, you're missing out, go watch them now. Now listen, this animated series is very much for families, okay? It premieres on May 23rd on Max. Uh, and listen, it's it's like they push the envelope just as far as they can to keep it family friendly, okay? If you've been around my channel for a while, you know I'm very lenient on what my children watch. Um, listen, I trust them. I allow them to watch incredible movies. I allow them to dive themselves in and become immersed in these worlds because I know they can handle it. And I think with every parent, you know your own children. But I mean, my kids, like like my 10-year-old, her favorite movie right now is, is Megan, okay? So let's put it that way, right? So Gremlins, um, this, this Gremlin Secrets of the Mogwai does kind of tap into that horror element, which Gremlins has done, right? They've seen the movies. They really enjoy the movies. Uh, so of course they were very excited to check this out. We were able to go to the premiere. Thank you to Max for inviting us. And um, they absolutely loved it. They were all in on the story. The kids are the target audience here. They are. However, I think parents and, and um, families and those who honestly, who love the Gremlins movies are going to enjoy this aspect of it. Something that I really enjoy about this series is that they decided to go with a prequel. That's very, very, very smart. Uh, the main character, Sam Wing, is Mr. Wing in uh, the beginning of the Gremlins films, the one who has Gizmo and passes him along to Billy. Uh, so I think it's very smart that we're getting to see just kind of Sam and how he came to not only meet Gizmo, but you're getting an adventure with Gizmo. Um, you know, I love me some Gizmo. He's like super cute and so much fun and then also what's really cool is the actor who played Billy is actually a reoccurring character uh, voice role in uh, Gremlins Secrets of Mogwai which is a lot of fun uh, it's exciting to hear him and be like oh my god this is so cool but really the voice cast is phenomenal I mean we've got James Hong we've got Ming-Na Wen we've got B.D. Wong um, we've got Isaac Wang who is um, Boone in Riot and the Last Dragon I mean you've got a phenomenal phenomenal cast here absolutely incredible um and so that just brings a whole new element to this as well but not only do you have the humor in here and the adventure in here i mean the animation i think is beautiful it's very pretty to watch but you have like horror elements okay i mean it's not like as far as megan don't get me wrong but there are some truly terrifying moments in here that little little kids might get a little bit scared of so just be be <laughs> leery of that going into this uh, but I love that they, they pushed this and made this as horror and as scary as they can get without like really having to be like, okay, this is not for families. This is not for young kids. And I appreciate them pushing the envelope like that because it makes it that much more entertaining. It's 10 episodes. I flew through them. I absolutely enjoyed the entire ride. I thought it was great. I love getting to know Gizmo a little bit more. I love getting to know Sam more and getting to just see this adventure of the two of them, seeing how they bonded, seeing what's been going on there um, and kind of giving you that background. But basically what happens is, you know, uh, Grandpa, who is James Hong, who is so funny, um, discovers that there's a Mogwai out there, tasks Sam with helping him catch the Mogwai. Uh, then they want to take the Mogwai back to its home because, you know, yo, there's some rules here. There's some things you need to be careful of. We all know, don't eat after midnight, don't get them wet, you know, those sort of things, no bright lights. So you've got to be careful. Uh, and they could totally destroy the city. In fact, Mogwais have destroyed cities in the past, so we need to get him home. And that is where this adventure goes. I'm hoping for more seasons, please, because I was very entertained. I think it's a great, fun family watch. I don't think kids have to have seen Gremlins and Gremlins 2. They really don't, because this is a prequel. It, but there'll be little more elements, little more fun things thrown in here uh, for those who have seen it. Absolutely not necessary though. So I had a blast with it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, there's a couple of episodes that are a little slow or a couple of things here and there um, where there's a little bit of misses every so often. But overall, really, it's fully entertaining. Listen, I give uh, the first season, which is like I said, 10 episodes, which I've seen all 10 of them, uh, a three and a half out of five. It's entertaining. It's fun. And I love the horror elements. You know I'm a big fan of that. So throw that in and you've already won me over. <laughs> Be sure to let me know if you're excited for Gremlins Secrets of the Mogwai down below in the comments. 
If you've already seen it by the time you got to this review, let me know what you thought. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.